today is Saturday. And I tried to do some little curls in my hair, but I'm going to kind of hit them up just a tiny bit. Just a little bit. So just that it can look a little bit smoother in this area. I'm kind of like preparing my space so that I can film a makeup look that I will probably edit this week. And maybe have up maybe by the end or the beginning of next week, which will be like going into the next month. So depending on how fast I get that together. But, so I need to do my nails. I literally do my own nails, you guys. Like I've learned how to do my own nails here at home. So, but it was like over the keyword okay and so i pretty much did a lot of like um finishing up my degree during the quarantine i always did my own hair um natural and wigs and weaves and stuff like that uh, i was paying at maximum about 230 dollars to do my nails and i would drive literally would drive like probably an hour and a half away from my house just to get there and i would go early in the morning to get whatever design i wanted so that's why i paid so much and went so far and that's just what it was so now i learned how to do them myself i'm happy about that i'm just kind of cleaning up my area because i did a makeup the other day pretty much didn't clean up my area and i want it to be a little bit tidy for when i start to film so i can kind of see where everything is and i pretty much put a lot of stuff on this i don't know if you guys can see so you guys all right, you guys, so pretty much this is my area where I will just throw things. <laughs> so all of this stuff is what I usually film with. Or if I have other things, I sit it on this little table here so that I have everything kind of separated as to what I want to pretty much use for the day. And as you can see, I got it super, super messy. So I'm going to basically clean off this off too, along with some, a few things off my vanity as well. So, yep. <laughs> I think I'm going to use this, um, I think I'm going to use this one today. I'm going to use this one. Um, this is, let me put my camera back on. Let me twist you guys back the right way, okay? And all of that stuff I'll have sitting on this table just so that I can get to it quicker and a lot easier. And, um, so that's what I'm doing. I'm tidying that up and a little bit of my vanity. So dose of color sponge that I'm going to use today. So I'm not going to wash my, <laughs> I'm not going to wash those particular sponges. There's an old box from, see, look at me. I have like an old box of flashes. They, that should have been thrown away a long time ago. And then I'm, after I tidy everything up, I'm going to pick out what products I'm going to use. I know I'm going to for sure be using this. I'm definitely going to be using NARS. I also have this NARS as well. So, but this is kind of like one of my more favorite ones. They both match me so good. And they're both in the color Caracas or correct. Yeah, I think it's, I say Caracas. I need to find out how you really pronounce it. So I'm going to touch up the curls, do my nails, already clean this off. So I will catch you guys later. Peace. What is this for? This is for my curl line. Okay, so I can go like this with this. I need to set my camera up on some books so you guys can see what I purchased and I'll link it down below. You guys can see that I got this utility, this utility rolling cart. And it's in white. It comes in black because I want to be able to have my area cleared from here and then I can use those drawers for other things and this can be used for what I really need it for. So yeah, so tomorrow you guys, or maybe the next day, I'm not sure which day I'm going to do it. I kind of feel like I'm going to do it the next day and I really like this makeup look. You guys, I use the, guys, so I use the Norvina on the under eye and the waterline like to like give it like a good thick smoky eye and I really like it. I really do like it. So um, you guys will see it in the video, though. I am so feeling this look. It's like this is really something that I used to do probably like two or three years ago. It was my go-to look. I would have pink in the crease. And then I would have a lighter pink, which this is more like of a, it's called Bare. It's in the Huda Beauty uh, New Nudes palette. But anyway, I used to use this color, um, these colors from a cheaper palette, which was the Wet n Wild palette. I can't think of it. If I do think of it, I'll put it in the link below because that would be something that you guys could use if you don't want to spend a lot of coin on the Huda Beauty palette. And anyway, you guys, today I'm going to be, I'm actually supposed to be 
checking on all the links and my description bar so that I can officially post my videos. So, yeah, because I'm going to be posting today. So, I will check you guys out later. Hey guys, I think this is the, I think I vlogged about two days ago. So, I'm coming back on here because I found out about this TikTok recipe um, that I want to try. I follow um, this guy here on TikTok, but I followed this guy and he made a stuffed shrimp and it was stuffed with salmon. I have those ingredients already, so I'm going to try them. I don't have every single ingredient though, so I'm going to just try my best as possible. I know it's not going to look or probably taste like his, but I still want to try it out. I hope it comes out tasty. Um, but before then, before then though, before I go downstairs and start cooking, I want to show you all my nails that I made for Halloween. Um, yeah. So yeah, let me show you guys my um. Let me show you guys my nails first. Um, I'm actually filming this for a TikTok, so I'm right in the middle of filming for this portion. I already did this hand. They look pretty good, right? And look what I use on them, you guys. Look what I use. Little stickers. Look at these. They're so cool. They look so cool. I, I use a face on this one, as you can see right here. I, I use this color right here. I use this. Got it all over my hands. Excuse it. <laughs> Pretty Woman Nail Polish. And I have these ones. I'm still working on this one. But this one I think I'm going to keep a little bit clear with a little bit of this color in here. Just a little bit of this color. Yes, yeah, so I already pretty much filmed this one. Now I have to finish this one here. Right here I'm thinking about maybe for this middle one. Or for the thumbnail. Not sure. I'm going to actually put the word Halloween. So this is the H. I was starting on them, but I want to show you guys. So it's kind of dangling off, but I'm going to use the H. Um, this is the A. L, L, O. Here's the O. And then W is right here. E, E, N. So I'm going to use that one. I think I'm going to use some of these because they look like they're cuts. I may use some of her face. Maybe like this portion and maybe the lips. I might use the eyes separately. I don't think I want to use that all together because it would be so scrunched on a nail. As you can see, it looks a little bit wider. The one I used here, as you can see right here, I used the face, but it was smaller. So, yes, you guys. So, yeah, I did that. And this is just the aftermath of me doing it. You'll see it. You'll see it on my page. Make sure you guys check it out on my shorts. This is my dryer for when I'm doing the gel nails. Here are some of the ones I was telling you guys about. You can get these. So you have Dior, Louis Vuitton, Chanel. Like these are so bomb. Gucci. Then I have some right here that are just like animal print. And here's where you can go. I'll still link it down below so you guys can check it out. The nail shop by sb.com i love her nails i still pretty much buy nails too but i also make them a lot and then here is a nail extension gel when you don't when you want to try to do it yourself and then just like some nail kits also here is treshy i buy from them too so yeah i still do my um own and then i also may every now and then try to get a little extra nails from somewhere but and then look, I have some jewels here. I have some nail jewels. Like, they're so cute. I got these off of Amazon. I can link them down below if you guys are interested. Uh, what else do I have from her? Excuse me, my nail drawer is super messy. And there goes some other nail. They're just some little cheap nails. Here's something for, like, Christmas or Valentine's Day. And I bought some more from um, the nail shop. Um, look at it. She has these. I got this one here from the Nail Babe. This one is from the Nail Babe. She actually made me some already like this. But I also decided to get the decals too. But look at them. They're so pretty. I love this one. I don't know why I never use it. And then I always go on Amazon and get my actual nails and acrylic and everything. But it's super messy. In here, but, ooh, it's still. Yeah. And I also got this from the nail shop.sb, the one who did these here. 
These are so cute. I can't wait to do these on a nail. I purchased the stand and I purchased, um, well, they all come together. So I was able to get the magnetic um, stand that I can put all my nails on and finish them up. But yeah, you guys, so I'm going to probably, you guys, I'm going to probably finish this one up later because I really want this one to come out really good because it's going to be like kind of opposite of that, of these. It's going to actually have a, stay a bit clear. So I want this to actually look pretty good on them. I got these from Amazon too. If you guys are interested, I can link some stuff down below. Um, and then here is where I keep all my other nails. These are my basic. I just put basic. <laughs> my basic, I have like three. Yeah, so I'm excited for you guys to see this. So I'm, I'm just trying to maybe put this on my TikTok and also on my shorts video. And then you guys look, I have my... <laughs> camera here ready to film for tiktoks and shorts videos or short instagram videos so yes i am so excited about these These are going to be so cool i cannot wait to finish these and i see everybody doing these super intricate nails so i wanted to make sure that i show you guys something that is like super like neat and not crazy difficult you know what i'm saying so these are pretty cool. Screen. Hey guys, so I went on and finished these. I broke my things here, so I have to figure out a way to get these ones on. Oh, you guys, the, this is this is my Pocket FM. So it, I like sci-fi. Um, and this one is called The Moon. What is it called? So I am always listening to that. So that's what you hear in the background. <laughs> but anyway, so you guys, I went on and finished them before I went and started cooking because I was like, I really want to finish this and get the TikTok video ready for edit. So I did it pretty good. Look at that. Look all like, even though it's not the red color of blood, but sometimes blood looks this dark. So I, I thought, why not go with a different color than what everybody else is using? Then I did the Halloween. Looks pretty good. Hey guys, so let's head downstairs so I can start cooking this TikTok shrimp. I want to see if it comes out good. All right, you guys, I'm starting off cutting my, my salmon. Let's get into it. Oh my god, you guys, these came out so bomb. They taste so good, way better than I expected. And they are spicy though, you guys. I love spice. So yeah, they're super spicy. 
but I'm going to tear these up, you guys, and I will see you guys later. Peace. Hey guys, it is Thursday. Ooh, tomorrow's Friday. I'm thinking about putting this vlog up tomorrow because I've been really, you know, editing very fast these days. Um, and so right now, you guys, I'm going to be taking my baby girls to the Halloween store. They're going to be picking up candy and, you know, costumes and stuff so that they can have, um, all those things for their party at school tomorrow, which is going to be fun for them. But yeah, I'm going to get ready to do that and head on out. And I might as well just end the vlog here, you guys. I appreciate you guys for tuning in and uh, I will check you guys out in my next vlog. Peace.